Happy Halloween to everyone. Happy Halloween there, Herb. How are you doing? Anyone else joining in? Be sure to say hi so I can say howdy to y'all too. Hope y'all had a a fun Halloween. I had a pretty good pretty good time. I got a I got a nice pumpkin here. I didn't actually have time today to carve it nicely though, but it's still a really nice pumpkin. So I'll have it over here. Keeping me company during the live stream today. So today, I'm going to be showing you what is the uh, fourth day from our Utah trip. So let me go find the, the video for that here. So day four, uh, Herb, help me out here. Where are we? It was a really cool place. It uh, started out with this really neat formation right at the trailhead. And then we climbed around through all sorts of just neat rocks and then wrapped around at the end going through a pretty cool just uh, little, uh, I don't know what he would, some kind of dream, dry creek bed or something. Hey, hey Greta, hey Steve, how are y'all doing? Hey mom and dad, how are y'all doing? Sid and Charlie, so that was the name, that's the name of that huge formation you can see. Herb underneath the formation with some of the goats there. So it was a very, very cool hike. And as I've sort of mentioned before, one of the crazy things about this whole trip is we went on like six days of hikes and didn't see a single person on any of those hikes. So I'm gonna play a few fiddle tunes here to start out, but if you've got any particular requests, uh, maybe I'll try playing them. I've also got a few different costumes today to kind of spice things up. So this is my my fiddle player costume. Pretty legit. So this song is called The Drunken Piper. That was the Drunken Piper. So did anyone uh, get any trick-or-treaters or go out and do some trick-or-treating last night? Curious to know how it all was. So let's see, what do we got here? Uh, sort of walking away from Sid and Charlie there. Watching the parade of goats, there's there's George and Butterfly cruising along already. There's Finn and Sputnik. So, a lot of, a lot of fun that like.
Ah, you got to see a couple kids. That's fun. What were they dressed as? Ah, uh, Greta. Um, yeah, so the story on uh, Vincent Van Goat. Well, right now you can see all these vi video of all the baby goats playing on the top of this really fun formation here, along with uh, Finn and Sputnik. Meanwhile, Herb was trudging around the long way because his goat, Vincent Van Goat, had no interest in coming up the short and relatively easy way. Uh, it was... I didn't get to... I didn't manage to capture any of the embarrassing footage there, but uh, I believe uh, Nan was hauling away on Vincent Van Gogh trying to get him to go up this one little step with Herb underneath pushing the goat up from below. And then I think Vincent Van Gogh, from what I saw threw himself backwards and landed on top of Herb just just to prove that he didn't want to go up that way. I think he was perfectly capable because it wasn't a difficult climb. <laughs> but uh, he refused, so they took the long way around. And in the meantime, I got uh, a lot of fun video of the goats, you know, cruising around up here. So, so that was a fun time. Fun time. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna play the Levant Scouts now. So that was that was the Levant Scouts. Definitely one of my favorite fiddle tunes. Hey, if you're just joining us, be sure to say hi. How are uh, so? How's everyone's goats doing? Uh, everyone sort of getting ready for the winter, growing any winter fur, or just kind of not worrying about it too much. All the leaves are off our trees, and last week Sunday after the live stream. It started snowing and we got 20 inches of snow. Uh, due to the 20 inches of snow, which has spent all week melting, uh, yesterday when I was out in the evening doing chores, I had to go underneath some of the electric fences we have, and usually that's no big deal because you can barely feel it when you get shocked by it, but everything is so well grounded right now that as I went under one of the fences, man, I got, <laughs> I got knocked pretty good there. So, yeah. It's wet. Next one is uh, Marie's Wedding and Miss Wetterburn. <laughs>
Miss Wedderburn and Marie's Wedding. So now, let's see. All right, I'm going to take a one moment break here to do a costume change to go along with the, the Halloween stuff here. Huh, Rock is warming up and Tom will go and do anything. That's great to hear. Let's see. Oh, and the cistern. No, our cistern is not filled up. We didn't actually get our cistern built this year, but we're pretty close to being ready. And, uh, oh, that's great that you got them out today. So, Butterfly and George is still, is George still kind of defending Butterfly, or is she pretty well fending for herself? How are they doing now? All right, I'll be back in one moment here. So, I've got a few different costumes here. Uh, been sort of collecting Halloween costumes and everything over the last uh, 20 years. We've got a pretty expansive collection. Makes it pretty easy to throw together some costumes really quick here. So, these are the ones that I thought were handy. This first one that I'll show you is the one I was actually wearing uh, Last night, I briefly went down to our local trunk or treat event and kind of just walked around just to just to see the scene and see if there's any good costumes this year. And uh, unfortunately, with this costume, I can't see anything. So I'm not really sure if there were any particularly good costumes, but I had a fun time wearing costumes. If I can find the fiddle here. Can't see anything wearing this. Alright, I might do just one song here. Try doing Turkey in the Straw. Some special here with this this silly outfit on.
That was Orange Blossom special. Well, I think I think I'm gonna have to change out of the chicken costume here because I can't can't see or breathe inside that thing. But uh, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, so as I walked around last night wearing the, uh, the chicken costume, every time I heard someone say the word, there's a chicken or chicken nuggets, I would, I would squawk at them a bit just, to, just so they knew I was listening. <laughs> Got some good good giggles out of people wearing this one, I think. Even if I could barely see where I was going. Mostly spent all the time just trying not to <laughs> not to get run over by traffic or fall over anyone. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ooh, I got the next, next costume here. Let's fire this one up. Any guesses what the next costume is gonna be? It's gonna fit some of my music. So there's a hint to you. Something I ain't worn in a while, that's for sure. I haven't had much, much cause to, but we'll give it a go today. And it works against the green screen, so you know it's not going to be green, or at least not very green. The chicken costume looks like it was sort of arguing with the screen a bit there, but I think this one will... perhaps behave. Alright. Come on out. Tuxedo on here. Ooh, Greta, a pirate. That's a pretty good guess. That's a pretty good guess. Now I'm going to play a couple uh, couple Suzuki songs here for you. So I think... Uh, well, it looks like this video has already looped. So I think what I might do is load up, uh, load up last week's video just so you can see it again because there was some really cool stuff on that hike that's worth seeing more than once so it's a very cool hike all right let me see what i can i can find here I'm gonna play uh gavotte from book one I think that might be one of my favorite favorite Suzuki ones that I've found so far while playing over some of the old old Suzuki tunes. It's, it seems perfect for goats kind of strutting around.
Yay, I'm glad you enjoy the Suzuki songs. Um, it's been fun kind of digging up some of them again. It's been, been a long time since I've played them, so this has been a good excuse to to fire them up again and uh, practice them up a bit. There's actually pretty tricky songs, even the Gavotte there. I think I want to practice that one a bit more. Remember when Barry Godel jumped into the pool of tumbleweeds? I'm not sure if I do remember that, but I can sure believe that he did. It sounds vaguely familiar, though. Like, we saw those goats do just about everything <laughs> on the, those hikes there. So let's see. I'm going to try to flatten this book out here and play a couple more Suzuki ones along with my... Suzuki outfit here. Hey, if you're enjoying the stream, be sure to give it a like, too. That always helps out a bit, I think. This one is called Waltz by Brahms. heard my violin making a really funny noise. I realized it was the mute was vibrating against the bridge there, making it sound like it had a stuffed nose or something. <laughs> I'll play uh, Bore by Handel. Oh yeah, now now that you're reminding me, Herbie, yeah, I do 
I do totally remember when uh, when Barry Godolo jumped in the the tumbleweeds. Yeah, was, uh, so right now we're sort of marching through the trackness trackless wilderness to get around to the part where we climb up the backside of the huge formation there. And <laughs> yeah, at some point, the goat just dove into a huge mess of huge mess of those tumbleweeds. Yeah, the so the giant gypsum crystal that uh, Herb is mentioning there was that was super cool. I would have loved to have kept it just because it was neat, but of course it was it was ginormous. It was almost as big as this pumpkin, uh, just not at all the same shape. It was actually kind of longer and shorter, but it was. I've got a picture of it somewhere. Maybe I'll have to show off that picture sometime. But there was just all these. It was just a perfect piece of like this white crystal just laying around. It was neat. Yeah, if you see little bits of white crystal in different places, it's just neat stuff. All right, I'm going to go for another costume change. So, yes, that was my Suzuki costume. Definitely, <laughs> definitely has been fun kind of breaking out some of the old Suzuki songs. Actually, a lot of really good tunes there. So, any guesses on what's coming next? This will be my last uh, costume change here. Go along with some of my favorite movie songs. Oh, my hands are too fat to squeeze out of this white shirt. <laughs> Come on, white shirt. All right, there we go. Got it off, got it off. Just a moment while I pop this next item on here. Glad you've all been able to make it out for some of these fiddle, fiddle live streams. I've really been having a fun time doing it. Really appreciate you listening in and giving us updates on how all the goats are doing. Um, Nan's currently in Texas right now. Uh, maybe she'll catch the updates on the goats later. But yeah, we've really been loving seeing how some of the the goats we've sent out in the big world are doing. It's always always great to see how they're doing. So alright, almost ready here. Arr This is my parrot pirate costume. So yeah, that was uh, that was the climb there, Herb. All right, so yeah, Greta gets the prize. She guessed it earlier. I'm gonna play a few of my Pirates of the Caribbean songs again. So the pretty fun ones as we watch the walk around. Let's see, what part of the hike are we up to yet? I just don't think we've. Okay, so we have gotten to the top of it, and now we're. We're walking around on the top of that huge formation there. All right, cool. Yes, yeah, so we've got a whole box full of costumes, so it took me about a... <laughs> I figured it'd be fun to have a few, few costumes here, so it took me about... I only had about... With Nan gone, I had to do all the, the goat chores myself, and when I got in, I only had about 15 minutes before this started so I quick ran and grabbed a bunch of costumes I figured would be really easy to break out real quick so anyways the first one here is the medallion calls this is from the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie
was the medallion calls. <laughs> uh, I'll have to watch it later and just see what what happened in the video there. Uh. All right, next one up is Davy Jones. This book has got um, eight different parts of the Caribbean songs. I've got three of them down pretty well. I'm hoping to learn all of them eventually because I just love all the the music in these movies. So. That was Davy Jones from the uh, movie Dead Man's Chest. Now we've got the Black Pearl. If I can get the music set up here. There we go.
That was the black pearl. And then, hey, since I've got the pirate costume on, I'm gonna give it a try. This one I'm still getting the uh, notes worked out on, but this is the fiddle tune from Dead Man's Chest called Two Hornpipes. got away from you a bit but you got the the general idea of that one that one's that one's a pretty fun one too so play another one of my favorite uh favorite piratey songs here let me just see if i can see if i can throw a backtrack on this one really quick though let's see See here one moment. find a backtrack for that one as opposed to just grabbing a random video on YouTube. <laughs>
Hey, Tim, glad you could join in for a bit. Hey, Nora, Ivy, and Heather, if you're out there, hope you're all having a good time. Yeah, so Scumbar was super fun. I think what I should probably do is um, get out the old Peddler's Tune track and maybe play that in the background and see how that works for me sometime, or or maybe just record uh, the two of us playing. I could probably, I'm hoping to sometime get some recordings of, of you playing the banjo, and then I could uh, get you showing up over there playing the banjo, like pre-recorded, and I could play along with or something, but it'll be fun to do one of these days. So let's see. I think, uh, hey. So I think I'm gonna play just a, a couple more songs here. I think I will play the uh, Sailor's Hornpipe since I'm dressed for the occasion here. Let me get the music though, because <clears throat> that'll help me make sure I get most of the notes in the ballpark. hornpipe and that's that white crystal like see the little chunks of white crystal there like that's the that's the stuff Herb was talking about earlier we found a big giant chunk of that gypsum crystal I mean it was about like I don't know, about a foot and a half long about six or eight inches wide I mean it's a big old it's pretty cool stuff so all right since I got the, the sailor outfit I'm gonna play drunken sailor as well Sailor. I think I'm gonna round up here with the music for Found Harmonium. <laughs> Thank you. 
was music for Mound Found Harmonium. Hey Greta, thanks so much. And thanks everyone for listening in. If you've been having a good time, be sure to give this a video a like. Feel free to you know, spread the word to your friends or something. Um, I appreciate that you're listening to my stream and having some fun with me. So, been having a great time doing these. Uh, next week, we will be showing the final two days of the Utah hiking trip with Herb. Um, did an overnight hiking trip, and it was pretty amazing hike. And we got to see amazing stuff, even if... Mm, good half of the stuff was none of the stuff we were planning on seeing so it was a great time uh thanks again just so much her for just taking us out to see all this amazing stuff too i mean look at that stuff it's amazing <laughs> anyways y'all have a great week we'll uh catch you next time